Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, we will be looking at the Adidas 700 Yeezy in the Salt colorway. So first off, these are the two original colorways. We have the OG on the right, the Wave Runner, and on the left we have the Mauve. So this model is probably the most controversial Yeezy to date. It's, it's kind of going along with the dad trend. It's a much chunkier shoe. Um, this one is arguably everybody's favorite one, the Wave Runner, just because the colors are so different. I've run this into the ground. As you can see, there's dirt all over it, pretty used. It's probably one of my favorite shoes. It gets comfier with time. So we're gonna get straight into the 700 Salt colorway. So the box, just like every other, easy, 700 branding on it. This is the label, give you a close up of that. As you can see, common floor on most fakes, that Adidas symbol there is not normally scented. Obviously this is a retail pair purchased directly from Adidas. So if we open it up, you can see usual easy paper inside. And here we have the 700 salt. In my opinion, the 700 Salt is one of my favorite colorways. I would say it probably goes the OG Wave Runner first, then the Salt, and lastly, the Mauve. This one, I believe, although people say it's boring, kind of plain, I'd say it goes with almost anything you want to wear. Wear all black with it, it would look fine. The shape may look weird because I haven't really laced it like those ones. Those ones I've laced higher. This one I haven't put in the lace holes yet. This 3M on the shoe, it can be found with flash. I'll give you a few images of this now in the B-roll. As you can see, there are slight differences in color from the suede to the actual material, leather material. There are slight differences in color. The sole is a black, which I think is a nice touch, so it doesn't show up the dirt too much. I think they've done that on both the OG and the, the salts. The more of I feel is the gum bottom, as you can see. These are the Adidas tags that come with it when you purchase straight from Adidas. There is, however, one key difference that I have noticed comparing both the Mauve OG to the Salts, and that is in fact on the inside of the shoe. You can see they've used an Ortholite insole compared to what can be found on both the OG and the Mauve. So on these ones, it's just a regular insole compared to the Ortholite one. There is also Boost in this, so I expect with the added insole, it's gonna be extremely comfy, and I cannot wait to wear these. I've worn the OG 700s a hell of a lot, and over time, they start off quite tight at the toe, but that's normally with any Yeezy, but over time, it's probably my most comfortable shoe, and is a daily wear for me now. I'm looking forward to wearing the 700 Salt quite a lot. To me, it's a very nice color, I think it will grow on me over time as well. When I first saw it in images on Instagram and stuff like that, it wasn't my favorite, but I must say it looks much better in person. And I hope this is coming up clearly on the lighting. I will now just give you some B-roll of the shoe just so you can have a closer look at it and maybe see if you want to purchase it yourself. It has sold out in pretty much every retail, I'm pretty sure. However, the resale isn't too high, so you should be able to cop if you want to.
here we have the usual 700 sole plate. As you can see, the boost has the holes with the coming through. You can feel directly onto the boost. It's not quite, I would say, as comfortable as a 350. You can't, it doesn't feel like you're walking directly on the boost because of that insole inside. 350, I like to take out the insole and walk directly on the boost. It's not quite the same feeling on a 700. However, it's still an extremely comfortable shoe after a certain amount of time of wearing it. So these were quite easy to purchase on Adidas. I got through the queue in a matter of minutes, purchased them immediately, and they sat on foot patrols and websites like that for a little while. However, they didn't sit as long as the Mauve. Mauve sat for weeks and even went on sale in certain places. So I'm quite surprised about that. Some people are saying the Yeezy hype is dead. However, if a shoe sells out in the same day, I can't, can't really agree with that. The 350, although the production numbers are increasing, uh, they still sell out every time. And there's been uh, rumors that the stock numbers will reduce again on the 350s, meaning they will become rare. However, so with all the colors that have come out the 350, I still kind of believe that the hype is dying of them. However, the 700 is a very, very nice shoe. Uh, people are still mad about the OG and the v V2 of the 700 in the static colorway is one of my personal favorites. I have that coming soon and a test for you coming soon in that as well. Both a real and a fake one of that. So you'll see that soon. I have heard a lot of other YouTubers who've done reviews just like this would have liked to see some other colors in the shoes it's kind of boring compared to others they brought out quite a lot of colors like this but in my opinion i like the neutral colors i like the kind of plain i'm not one who wears outlandish stuff so as you can see this would suit me perfectly uh, a lot of other youtubers have said they would like to see different color laces different color uh, in the sole or on the on the pattern itself however i feel the neutral tone in this salt colorway um, is extremely nice and goes with pretty much any outfit you would want to wear. So I believe a large amount of people have actually slept on these and I believe the price will eventually rise. The numbers weren't as high in production as the Mauves and um, they sold out instantly. So the price is only going to rise and with people seeing more and more Instagram photos and even seeing these in person, they are much better than I first thought. So I believe the, price, uh, the resale price is going to rise. Another thing that put people off is the actual steep, steep uh, retail price at £249. And that is an extremely high amount for a pair of shoes. And to be honest, I don't believe it's worth it. If they sold for £200, I think that's probably about right. The quality of them uh, is good. They last a long time. Chunky sole has a lot of wear in it. If you compare this to a 350, I've seen a lot of 350s and I've seen a lot of them disintegrate in some words and actually be completely worn down to the boost however i've yet to see a 700 completely worn down to the boost uh, i guess you'd have to wear that for quite a long time for that to happen let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite out of the three the og the mauve or the salt let's see if your um, order is in the same as mine i feel like these are going to get extremely dirty very quickly However, shoes are made to be worn, so I will be absolutely wearing these into the ground. I'm kind of confused how they've already been dirty. However, I haven't worn these, I've just received them. So, that's a problem from Adidas. But, oh well. Thank you very much for tuning in to this review of the 700 Salt. I hope it's given you an idea of if you want to purchase them or if you want to keep them, if you've bought them or resell them. So let me know if you want to see more reviews like this. This one was just a short one, but just wanted to get my word out there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned to the Instagram. I'll probably be doing a test for these as this video goes up. Hopefully you should all get it right because it's pretty obvious that these are retail. Um, thank you very much. Stay tuned.